Now, if you watch the channel, of course you'll know that we've been having a lot of fun with all our different new PJ Masks toys that are coming out this year. We had a really nice early access to them from Just Play, and we've got them laid out here. In this video, what I want to go into is a close, detailed look at how these toys pan out, what play schemes they offer. But we've had great fun trying them out with families in the garden, in the home, with these transforming play sets down the bottom, where the different PJ Masks Connor there turning to Catboy, and here we have Greg turning into Gecko, and we've got of course Owlet up here, turning into a mayor. Um, and at the back here we've got some new vehicles, we've got some new play suits, and we've got some new toy packs. So what we're going to do is, oh of course Night Ninja's um, bus here as well, is take these away and look at them one by one so that you can make a clear decision which ones you want to buy, which ones you think are best value, and how you're going to be spending money or buying presents for your kids as these toys hit stores later in the year. What we're going to look at, first of all, we're going to look at the talking large characters for the villains. So let's have a look at these in detail. You can see in the packaging and in the store you can try them. So if we press Luna Girl's chest, she'll say some Luna Girl things. Let's get that out of the packaging. So you can see in the hand, much bigger than uh, other PJ Masks toys we've had. We've had the large talking heroes, but this is the first time we've got the villains. And again, they're poseable. So when we were making our videos, this is really useful because in terms of doing the stop animation where she breaks out of the presence on the sofa and starts taking over in that little playful um, skit with Luna Girl, that helps us. Oh. <laughs> That helps us animate her. And equally, I like the range of things she says. Some of them are good and some of them are negative. So sometimes she's like, yes, I'm in control, ha ha ha. And sometimes she's like, you PJ Pest, you ruined everything. And of course, as you play with her, those are the things that you need to say. We go over to um, Night Ninja here. You can see again, he press his tummy. <laughs> <laughs> My plan is brilliant. So again, he's got a, a range of things that he's saying, both in his winning and also when he's losing. So let's get him out of the packaging. So here we go, again, really nice big figure, very totally posable. You can see in the back, and the back here it, on his head, this is where the sound comes out. I think you've got a little screw there, which you could replace the battery, and again, posable arms. Um, there's a bit of articulation in both directions, so you can move his arm up like this and down as well as forward and back. So again, I think that's a nice addition to anyone's toy box. And of course, we've got the final villain, which we used in our toy toy theft at the end of the last video. He stole the rival race playset for us. Um, we have, of course, got Romeo. And I love Romeo. He's got a nice... Um, sort of plasticated cape here, um, which adds a bit of play value. And I like the way his button is almost hidden on his top in this little lapel area here. You can see you press this. Hello. <laughs> so Hello? with not too much um, effort, you can really Hello? start to see him coming to life. And again, that's what we did um, in our episodes. But I think children will really enjoy this. And we'd like to hear, if, if you're watching this, which of these will you be buying? Do you think you'll be going for Romeo? Do you think you'll be going for Night Ninja? Or you think you'll be going for Owlet? Or perhaps you'll be going for all three. Of course, that does you know cost a bit more money. But I think those are a nice additions to the PJ Masks range and equally go along with those hero large figures. So let's get them up in the HQ and we'll move on. So next up we're going to look at the transforming play sets and there's one for Gecko, one for Catboy and one for Owlet. So we've been playing with these already ourselves as you saw in our episodes if you follow the channel and the, the basic mechanic oops, sorry Gecko, of these play sets is that you press the top button and it switches from one scene to another so here you can see you've got the PJ Mask um, HQ lab 
you've got Gecko's little vehicle in there, you've got lots of nice detail, and if you switch it around, you have got Connor's bedroom. And that means if we take this out of the packaging, get ourselves Connor. It comes with a little mini Gecko, small style Gecko, and also Connor. It's nice to have Connor, I think, because it's kind of the first time we've had the, ch the children out of their outfits, and you can kind of see the similarities. The face, of course, and the smile is the same on both. You see that, but of course, when he's Gecko, he's got his outfit on. Now, you place these in the transforming playset. Now, it does need a little bit of attention, and potentially this is something where parents will help children get them in. You need a bit of a push to get it in securely. Whoops, <laughs> and twist it round, arms down, and there you go. And that is so, when you twist it, it's not gonna come out and get stuck. And we put Gecko in. Put them in and twist. So with a little twist, that makes it much easier to get in. So you go Gecko twisting and spinning. And there's that sense that he's switching from Gecko into Connor and then back to Gecko again. Whoops. In terms of switch of the rotation, it's pretty reliable. If you press the button down and let it go up, whoops, and then press it again. If it needs to be flat, um, then you get it nicely rotating. If you don't let the button go all the way up, sometimes it gets stuck, you just need to let the button go to the top. So there you go, that is Gecko. Of course we've got Catboy as well. If you move Catboy over here, we'd already opened this. With Catboy you get some nice little wings on the side. These are all sold separately, so you need to decide which one is gonna be one for you. And of course then you've got Connor. <laughs> so at the minute, Connor is in his bedroom there. You can see things happening in the background. Got the Connor, you've got the Catboy cat there on the front. Oops. And then you've got Catboy who's pings round interaction. Um, and really nice. And finally, over here, we have got Owlet. You can see that at the top of the Owlet one has got some ears, these little ear pointy out bits. And again, she can spin around like this. And we've, whoops, I just missed her. Let's go right round. And we've got, here she is, Amaya. Really nice. So you do need to decide which of these you're gonna buy. And again, in the comments, I'd like to know which ones you'll go for. If you just pop the camera down a bit, we can see how they stack up together because the three of them combine to make a big um, PJ Masks totem, which I think is really nice. And you can see on the front here, the lines line up exactly. So you can line that one up and then we can take Owlet, we can pop her on the top, we can line her up perfectly as well. It's so big actually that I can't quite get the whole thing in shot, but you can see here if I reframe over there, you've got all three of them. And the nice thing is that if you press the top, so you can see them going around all together and you can get them to sync. So I've got Gecko out of sync there. So if we pop them around, there you go. And that's really nice, isn't it? The way they, they link is a really nice addition and certainly gives some benefit to buying all three, which I know will be on lots of people's Christmas lists. So let's get them into our PJ Mask HQ scene and we'll move on to the next ones. So there you go. We've got our growing collection of PJ Masks toys in our PJ Masks HQ. So what should we look at next? I know, we're gonna look at some vehicles. So we've got a vehicle here. So let's look at Romeo's Lab first of all. Again, really nice big vehicle. Whether they're gonna bring out deluxe versions of these I think will be interesting because with the PJ Mask heroes, with Catboy, the Cat Car, the Owl Glider, and the Gecko Mobile, we then ended up with the deluxe version. So we started off with the normal Owl Glider here. And then of course, we had the deluxe version, which was a, lot, a bit nicer. Had this hood and had lights and sounds. Um, it's time to be a hero. So that's one consideration. If they're going to bring out a more deluxe version of the lab, then I think maybe it's worth waiting. But as it stands, I think it's really nice. It comes with Romeo, and it has a little dot in here so you can stand him up and just get him in. It does need a bit of attention to do that. Come on, Romeo. <laughs> Once, it, once he's in, then he's relatively secure, and you can do all sorts with him. The, front, the very front wheels turn, but these two don't, and the back wheels turn as well. So you can see there, and there's a nice sort of tire marks, and a sense of like invention and labs and pipes on the back. What I was quite interested about was also seeing the little mini version of Romeo's Lab, probably a more of a pocket money toy, um, maybe better value for money, but smaller, you can't do quite so much with it, and of course, um, Romeo doesn't come out. But what I like about the combination, I've been going on about this, but I do think it's quite cute, is that you can put this lab in the back of him, and in terms of playing, you can then have him transporting Romeo, little mini Romeo all over the place, and certainly my kids 
connected to the idea of that. <laughs> and I think it's quite a nice addition to the way you play with your PJ masks. Then over here we've got, whoops, come on Night Ninja, we've got Night Ninja's um, bus, and we've got Night Ninja here as well. So here's the bus. Um, really nice, it's got an exposed engine. My kids really connected to that, like the way you can see the workings of the engine at the front there. On the back you've got kind of like a school bus thing, and then you've got the wheels, and you can see little splat marks on the wheels if I turn it around. Of course all four wheels roll. This means this is a really nice vehicle to whiz around. And as before, you've got a little spot to sit in, which will take any of the minifigures, and you can pop Night Ninja in. Again, it's a bit of a, a pop in, but just get him in over here. Um, click, just need a bit of force. Just that means that he's then not gonna fall out. And also he's perfectly positioned when he's in the toy. So there you go, that's Night Ninja's bus. Another nice addition to our playset. So let's get them in their HQ and we'll move on from there. That's our HQ filling up with toys. One, to one toy that isn't to be played with on the carpet, on the ground, are the new dress up suits. So I know how you enjoy these, but this is quite a nice, intelligent way to update these. Not only do you get a new mask, but you also get a, a easier to put on and put off t-shirt that for me fits more ages, is a little bit more padded and it has a more of a deluxe feel. We just get the mask out. My kids we used to complain that the rubber inside was a little bit hard and would hurt their noses, but now the rubber on these masks is really nice and soft, which I think is a really nice improvement. Pop that over there. And of course, you've got the t-shirt too. Get that front of the camera. Velcro's at the back, so you can see. I think, I think fits ages, what's it say on the box? It's designed for ages four to six. So there you go, that's the Catboy t-shirt. Then moving towards the end of our collection, we've got this very big set of PJ Mask figures, as you can see here. Now the inter interest and the novelty here is not only the number, you get 16 in this set, which is a really nice way to get in. If you haven't got the figures already, this is a good way to go. But you also get some additional novelties, like the bird here, and like the Ninjalino. So let's get this out. So here we go, we'll have a look at some of the figures you've got in this box. We have got Night Ninja. Let's pop him in our scene, we'll put him here next to the Night Ninja bus. Just stand up a minute. Can you stand up there, Night Ninja? Very good. Uh, of course, you've got your three um, PJ Mask heroes. Again, they all come the same. And <laughs> they're you can twisty head and articulated. They're different versions of these toys. If you get the light up ones, then the heads don't twist, although they do light up in the chest, which is a, a, a sort of a trade-off, and it depends how you're gonna be playing with them. So there you go, we've got our PJ Mask heroes in the lift. In that set, you also get Ninjalinos for the first time. I don't think I've seen these Ninjalinos apart from the collectible figures anywhere else. Nice to see that. And these Ninjalinos, their little fingers stack on each other. <laughs> so you can put them anywhere. And I guess our Ninjalinos should go, so I can just lean up here, with Night Ninja and Night Ninja bus, because they're going to be there. And you can have them stacked in the back of the bus for a Night Ninja Ninjalino attack. Also have got some of the little animals. So we've got our cat. Hey kitty kitty. <laughs> and I'll put him there. We've got bird. <laughs> I'm gonna put these together to put bird there. And we've got, is it Lionel? Lionel the lizard. Now the other two don't seem to have names, but I think Lionel does. Um, <laughs> bit of a star of the show, Lionel. So we'll put him here. You also get a splat in this pack, which is always nice. And again, it's nice in terms of play features because you can splat your enemies. What I really like though, is you get some new kind of weapons. So you've got this sort of shrink ray pointer thing that um, Romeo has. And again, that's really nice. So there you go, you can see our toy set really filling up. But the big hero toy of this year, if we can pull it up, is of course, let me put it on camera, the equivalent of last year's. H HQ, which is the Rival Racers playset. You can see all sorts of things here. There's a set of museum doors to jump through. There's a ramp to go around here. There's a loop the loop. There's a plunger. You get a cat boy and a night ninja. So let's get this box open and I can show you, with a space limited, what you get. So first of all, here's the vehicles that you whiz around the track. It's a night, night ninja bus, really fast wheels, and they've got a groove in them designed to stick on that track. So pop that there for a minute. And you also get a Catboy car as well. What's nice about this is you can take Catboy out, so it means you can put other toy figures in 
and make them race around the track and watch out <laughs> for the, loop, the loops and everything. Now, we've not set this up in full because we need a bit more space to do it, but what we're gonna do is set this up for a family and then you can see how this um, rival racers playset works. So you press the plunger down, which pushes this, which sends Catboy over the loop the loop, around here, pings up Night Ninja over there, and of course you've got another jump here, which sends, pop that in, another jump here, which sends the Night Ninja bus through the museum doors. So you can see that that is gonna be the most expensive set, but it gives you a lot to play with. Not only the, the idea of constructing, the, the, the constructing the toy, but also that fast action really adds a lot of play value. So if we just zoom out, we can get the full picture of all those PJ Masks toys for the year. So of course you've got that Rival Races playset in the front. As we go up, you see Night Ninja's bus at the back there. You can see <laughs> Romeo's lab. And then as we go up, you've got those large Romeo Owlet, sorry, <laughs> Romeo, Night Ninja, and Luna Girl talking figures. And as we go right up to the top, you can see we've got those transforming play sets. So the scene in full is now looking very packed and inviting, really, hands-on play. So I think the way that this PJ Masks line is expanding is really nice. But what you need to do is to choose which of these you're going to buy. Certainly, you're not going to be buying everything. The ones that you should be buying are the ones you're going to get best value from. So, I want you to let me know in the comments who and which of these you're going to buy. Are you going to go up here? Are you going to buy the Greg transforming playset? Are you going to be buying the Connor and Catboy one? Or are you going to be buying Owlette and Amaya? Or are you going to be buying all three of those? Because that's quite a nice combination because they do stack up. If we're coming down, is there a particular villain, talking villain, that you want to buy? Would you be buying Luna Girl? Would you be buying Night Ninja? Or would you be buying Romeo? Um, again, you could buy all three, but really, if you've got some of the heroes, one of those villains will suffice, and in terms of your play, you can use them to do all their dastardly deeds. Over here, you've got a choice between the large um, Romeo lab and the little mini one. The larger one, I think, is really nice because it rolls along and it's got that space in the back to play with. And then moving down, of course, you've got that Night Ninja bus that we mentioned earlier. You see, just peeking over here, hello! You've got the Ninja Linos, um, which are a nice addition to that 16-piece playset, which if you do go for that, it's a nice way to get started on PJ Masks because it adds those little um, animal characters as well, as well as the PJ Mask heroes. And of course, if you really want to go for it, we've got our tucked in the side here, we've got our rival races plunger, and the ramp and the museum that comes together to make their probably the most impactful of the toys. So I hope this has been useful and I hope you're enjoying all our other PJ Masks videos as we're having a lot of fun with them in the garden, running around, discovering toys in secret places, or using our iPad PJ Mask games to find some toys as well. That is all we've got time for today, but it is a super duper look at all things PJ Mask for 2017. <laughs>